So let's move on to another one. We'll do a couple more problems looking at the other two scenarios. So a certain company's main source of income is selling socks. The company's annual profit in millions of dollars as a function of the price of a pair of socks in dollars is modeled by this equation. And we want to know what the maximum profit the company can earn. So again, we want to start with our letters. What is X and what is P of X? Now, a lot of times with our functions, the letters actually match up with the idea. So this is talking about the annual profit. So P of X is profit, how much profit the company makes selling socks. And again, this is in millions of dollars. So I'll use a dollar sign there. And the X, it's a function of the price of a pair of socks, and that's in dollars. So this is the price of socks. And again, that's going to be in regular dollars, whereas the profit's in millions of dollars. And we want to know what is the maximum profit that the company can earn. So they're looking for maximum profit. So notice that you have a negative in front, which means that when we graph this parabola, it's going to be downward facing. And we want the maximum profit. So we're essentially looking for this key point up here, which we call the vertex. Now, the nice part about this equation is that it's already in vertex form. So I'll write that out generally. Let me just say vertex form. And this is when you have some function equal to a constant a times x minus h squared plus k, where our vertex is the x value that makes this expression 0. So if you plug in h there, this whole thing would just go away because it's just 0. And when you do plug in h here, this all does go away, and you get a y value of k. So your vertex is at h comma k in this general form. So remember for this, we're looking for the x value that makes this expression 0. That'll give us our x value, the vertex. So I'll use v for vertex. If you plug in a 5 here, it would make this whole expression go away. You would just end up with 0. And when you do plug in 5 here, you get a y value of 12. So this is the vertex of our parabola. We just found the coordinate points. And we want the maximum profit. So notice the units that it's in millions of dollars, which is our profit. Right? That's what we're looking for. And we just found out that the vertex, the peak of this curve, is at a sock price of $5 and a profit of $12 million. Because remember, profit is in millions of dollars. So our answer here is just 12. It's the y value of our vertex. And so that's the nice part about these questions. When you do get asked to find the maximum or the minimum, it's at least fairly quick to find the vertex when it's already written in vertex form. Now, if you've done previous word problems where it was in factored form, you definitely had to do a lot more work to be able to find that vertex. But at least in these, you can recognize it pretty quickly. So let's do one more. And we have an object launched from a platform. Its height in meters, x seconds after the launch is modeled by this equation. And how many seconds after being launched will the object hit the ground? So let's start with our variables. h of x, that's the height in meters. So this is like our first problem. And x is again going to be time. x seconds after the launch, so that will be in seconds. And going back to the question, how many seconds? So we're trying to figure out the x value. That's what we're trying to find. After being launched, will the object hit the ground? So when the object hits the ground, that's the case where the height is equal to 0, or h of x is 0. So we can set our equation equal to 0 and then solve for x. So let's do that. So h of x, we'll set that equal to 0 because that's when the height of the object is on the ground. And this is equal to minus 5x minus 4 squared plus 180. Now to solve for x, I'm going to add this whole term to the other side so that it becomes a positive. So we have 5x minus 4 squared equals 180. So I just added this whole term to each side. Now divide by 5 so I can solve for the squared term. So 5 goes into this 36 times. And now I want to square root each side so I can cancel out the square. So when I square root both sides, I get plus or minus the square root of 36. Remember to put that plus or minus to account for the fact that there are two solutions here. Then I'm just going to add the 4 to the other side. 
So I get 4 plus or minus root 36, which is just 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So you get two answers here. And they want to know how many seconds after being launched will the object hit the ground. So really what we found were the two zeros of our parabola, where basically it looks something like this, where we just found at 10 seconds it'll hit the ground, but it also hits the ground at negative 2 seconds, which should give you a moment to pause because we don't have negative time. In fact, any time less than 0, that's just time before the object was launched. So these problems kind of assume that time is greater than or equal to zero. We're not going to have negative time in these problems. So we can eliminate this negative two is one of the options. So that means when x equals 10, the object will hit the ground. And of course, with these, you can actually check it. Just plug in 10 and see what you get. You get 6 here squared. So you have minus 5 times 36 plus 180 and this would actually be minus 180 plus 180, and you would get zero. So you checked it, and the answer did make sense.